Today we ask the age old question. Will it deep dish pizza? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Pizza comes in many shapes and forms. There's skinny, squarey, foldy, greasy, crispy, floppy, super sizedy, and even vegan. But out of all the kinds of za out there in the world, perhaps pizza's most controversial form is Chicago deep dish pizza. Yes, but whether you think deep dish is a crust above the rest, or mm -hmm. you think it just slaps pizza lipstick on a casserole pig, oh, Ooh. today we're taking deep dish pizza on a deep dive into unknown culinary waters, but will our flavor flickers want to send an SOS? It's time for Will It? Deep dish pizza? Three things make a deep dish pizza deep dish. You got the tall, thick crust, you got the cheese and toppings on the bottom, and a heap and mess of sauce on top. So mythical chef Josh has worked within those parameters and is dishing out deepness for us to judge. Beginning with Jollibee is a Filipino fast food restaurant known for its fried chicken and their self-proclaimed mission to spread the joy of eating. I can get behind that slogan, but Will a deep dish pizza made out of Jollibee's entire menu be a joy to eat? We're calling this one Deep Dish Jolly Pizza. Jollibee. Pizza. Jollibee. Pizza. Jolly pizza. Uh, I've never been to a Jollibee. Uh, there's over 1,300 stores around the world, uh, US locations in California, Florida, Hawaii, Illinois, Nevada, Texas, Washington, and Virginia. I made you a nice little slice Josh, right what there. did you do? So uh, I took the chicken from Jollibee's famous uh, Chicken Joy, I infused that into the crust, That's and then right. I actually baked gravy into the cheese. There's Ooh. a sweet Filipino-style spaghetti sauce in there, along with tocino, tapa, and longanisa toppings are all various forms of Filipino sweet meats. Yeah, because it, it kind of lo looks like a wiener. Uh, yeah, so that's actually like the a, longanisa. It's a kind of a heavily sweetened pork sausage. Very delicious with uh, breakfast. I, I gotta go to this place. You gotta go. They gotta drive through and everything, right? Yeah. And and there's, there's gravy. gravy as well. Do you want gravy on top? Now we're we're doing this. No, what I we've want, been told is the Chicago way. I is want to gravy use a pork on the side. I'm not gonna go with. Well, I'll get a little dink of the gravy. I mean, this is a great way to find out if you should go to a restaurant. Put all the ingredients in a pizza and eat it. Hmm. Very barbecue yeah. saucy. Yeah, so the that's the banana ketchup. It's actually ketchup that was made with bananas because there was a tomato shortage um, back in the '60s. And I'm just going to try some of the some of the crust because once you get down to that, I mean, I just like I like hot dogs in general. We once put hot dogs in a mm -hmm. pizza together. Remember that? Yeah, we did. Josh, you should have seen it. We got on it Chicago you TV. Were born. We got on Chicago TV. Yeah, it was it was quite a monstrosity. This, on the other hand, is very good. Having never been to the restaurant, I just think this is a really edgy deep dish pizza. It's so it, edgy. It works. It Round works, one, yeah. so edgy. Jolly Bee, will it deep dish pizza? Yes. Snickers are not only the best selling candy bar in the US, they're also the best selling candy bar in the world, y'all. So what happens if you take all of that best selling milk chocolate bar cream full of peanuts and caramel and nougaty goodness bar? into a deep dish pizza, say hello to the deep dish Snickers. Deep dish Snickers, look at that. Josh, explain yourself. Oh, I don't know if I can, but I'll sure try. So we made a sweet chocolate crust, there's a caramel sauce, we infused cheese with nougat, then there's classic Snickers, peanut butter Snickers, almond butter Snickers, white Snickers, peanut yes. brownie Snickers, and it is topped with chopped peanuts for texture. Nougat infused cheese? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We hand removed the nougat from each Snickers. I mean, how could this not be good? I'm so hungry. You know, it reminds me of when I was dropped from a helicopter into the middle of nothing, and I had to figure out how I was gonna survive for days on end, and I'm just, I was angry at the world. I was angry with myself for jumping out of that helicopter. You should take a bite and of then, that. Uh, you should take a uh, bite of that. And then, I came back to the desk, with this in my mouth. You're not you when you haven't had your Snickers. What is it? <laughs> What's the slogan? You're not you until you're not you have yourself. your, you're not yourself until you have your Snickers. You're hangry. I don't know. So there is actual cheese in the nougat. You know, we're big mm. fans of nougat. Yeah? And I'm big, big, big fan of the peanut butter Snickers, my favorite. You know mm. what? It's got that chocolate cheesecake thing happening. Mm -hmm. It does. It does. It, with none of these like dessert pizzas, I've never seen a chocolate infused crust and a dessert. Am I wrong? No. You might be wrong. 
I might be wrong, but I don't but, think I am. I mean, but I haven't seen it done deep dish like this. Snickers, will it deep dish pizza? Yes. We wanna remind you to check out the Mythical Kitchen channel. Lots of good work happening over there, super entertaining. They made some fantastic foods, including some really old foods in their Meals of History series. Josh and Emily recreated a 2,000 year old Roman pizza and also explored an ancient murder plot in the process. Okay, and Josh and Nicole have a podcast where they discuss if deep dish pizza is even real pizza. Ooh. Check that out too by downloading a hot dog as a sandwich at your preferred podcast place. Hmm. Okay, the trouble with deep dish pizza is it's not great for people who are on a diet. True. But what if we were able to combine deep dish pizza with the ultimate diet soda, Diet Coke? Well, forget about it, we did it. This is Deep Diet Coke. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it looks, looks great. It's dark. <laughs> it's real dark. Josh, okay. what did you do? <laughs> yeah, this, this one got a little wonky, I'm not gonna lie to you. So we uh, boiled down a bunch of Diet Coke into a syrup and then infused that into the crust. We infused that into the tomato sauce <laughs> and into the cheese. Uh, and then we soaked pepperonis in fresh Diet Coke. Uh, and then of course there's a little bit of olive, Italian sausage and green peppers. Um, again, all boiled in Diet Coke. It looks so tasty. I got and you an extra healthy. big slice, Link. Oh yeah, you did. The crust is for real. Now, I mean, if you put an Alka Seltzer on top of this thing, it probably would just explode. <laughs> Josh, is it gonna be okay, Josh? Uh, is what gonna be okay? Us, when we eat this? Yo, of course, why not? You said olives, the, so I'm trying to find the olives so I can like... The, the, the test results on the lab rats were inconclusive. Okay. Oh, gosh. It's not as bad as I was afraid it might be. Hmm. Right, wow. The, uh, the fact that you knew the olives would be complimentary? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it's smart, man. The phenols. It, how is it's, it good? It's so gross to look. It looks like you can't. You can't look at it. It you, looks like a sewage pizza. You got to put it in your mouth without looking at it. See, like this. I'm impressed. You know where your mouth is without looking. <laughs> you Don't try you always, it. Uh, I always look. I always look right at everything to make <laughs> sure. You're good. Try it without looking at it. It's not as easy as you thought it was. Actually, it is. Yeah. This this is not viable. The much, you, people don't eat food blindfolded, except us. Well, maybe I mean, you need to make a it, diet crystal Pepsi. It's a, yeah, I yeah, mean. So you can a, see right through a it. A crystalline mm -hmm. version of this could work, but this is just, I mean, it doesn't get off the tarmac. Let me just say, it's way better than yeah. it has any business being. Uh. But Diet Coke, will it deep dish pizza? No. <laughs> The Everything Bagel is a bagel seasoned with all of the bagel seasonings that can season a bagel. Mm. And that special seasoning mix is also now being applied to things that aren't a bagel. I'm talking pretzels, all the way to ice cream and everything in between. But we want to know, oh, <laughs> if hey, it's okay. this mess for It's me. everything, man. Yeah. We want to know if you can deep dishify this stuff. So we have created the Deep Dish Delicatessen. Actually, Josh, you created this with the help of your your illustrious team. So what did you do? Yeah, so we made an everything bagel crust. There is a cream cheese sauce. Then we've infused the cheese with capers. There is lox, tomato, red onion, and then it is topped with everything bagel seasoning. It's basically like a really flat everything bagel. It pretty much is. The, the dough's really a combination of deep dish and bagel. And it's got the hole in the middle. I mean, you could serve it with the- Oh, you should ser with, serve it that with, way. With that in the middle. 100%. So it comes out like that. That So that this is a fun presentation. Very fun. So the exact opposite of the Were you the thinking Diet it Coke. was fun, Josh, when you did this? Were you like, oh, that's fun? Yeah, yeah, we, we were trying to get some fun in there. And when you, when you, oh gosh. Sorry. When you pull it, when you pull it apart, it just kind of looks like someone's already taken a bite out of your pizza. But that's just because it's part of a bagel. I will say that one of my favorite things to do with a pizza is, is, is bite the, the tip. Yeah. You know, I really like the pointy part. But just the tip. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I ate the whole. You ate the whole? Yeah. Is this really everything, Josh? Oh, it's all it's it's all your hopes and dreams. It's everything in the world. Uh, mostly garlic, onion, uh, poppy seeds, closer. sesame seeds, salt, and sometimes caraway. Just say when. When. Okay. When. I'm doing a little bit less on mine because I was just waiting for you to say when. Is it I guess it's gonna be fishy. Bagels are such a foreign thing to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Foreign. If bagels are foreign to you, you might be from a small place in North Carolina. Don't, it's don't pungent, man. Don't let the lock. So, you, and that's the capers. The capers are what's mm -hmm. really, really punching you. I like, oh, I like a caper. Hey. I think this is excellent. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I don't know if there's. 
I don't know. Maybe you put too much of everything on mine. Well, I mean, I was waiting for I mean, yeah, it's too thick. You, you, I was waiting for you to say when. If you like this, Stevie, you would love this pizza. I'm so, my mouth is watering Yeah, this is so your bad. thing. I don't like it as much as Stevie does, but I, I appreciate this combination of flavors, and I think you absolutely nailed it in the form of a pizza with a hole in it that you ate, which is weird, but we're not gonna talk about that anymore. So, uh, yeah, th this works on a menu. There's people, uh, you know, you're right. Everything bagel, will it deep dish pizza? Yes. yes. Okay, a long time ago, February 18th, 2015 to be exact, we did will it pizza. And a lot of things were different back then. My hair went up, Link's hair went down, mm -hmm. and we didn't have a whole mythical kitchen to try and turn Brains Pizza into something we might actually enjoy. And for those of you who don't remember that experience, with a little something like this. We're about to eat brains. There's bones in this. <laughs> Will it pizza? No. It wasn't great. I had a rough time with that one. <laughs> but now, we have the talents of mythical chef Josh and the kitcheneers at our disposal, so we think that it's only fair to give Brains another shot at pizza glory. Yeah. But did we think stupid? I don't know. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the deep fuzza. <laughs> That's funny, Josh. <clears throat> Thanks. You too. Um, and can, can I can I do the honors oh, of this thing oh. because it, this is not really a knife. Hold on, you, you're it's literally more just, of a something just flung at me. It's more of I mean, <laughs> but both hands are, you, yeah, are on it. Here's what you can't do: you can't hurt so yourself with right. it. No, no, hold both of them. You can. It's like giving a baby something. It's like they can only hurt someone else, but not themselves. So go for it, Josh. What did you do? Yeah, so brains are, are one of my favorite foods, and so we really put a, Hold a, a on, lot what? of- Hold on, what? I love brains. They come in a, a variety of shapes, sizes, different animals, different preparations, but for this one, we braise brains, we pureed it into the crust, and then we stewed down some tomatoes okay. uh, with a whole lot of brain in there. Extra. We actually took the brain stem and then used that instead of pine nuts in a pesto. Then there's just some quick sauteed brain, uh, brain crispy stem? fried brain, and then a little bit of uh, fennel seed crumbled brain sausage, crispy head cheese, and then we have also infused brain puree into the cheese itself. Okay, so you could have just put some brains on the pizza, but you literally found a way to get brain into every single piece of it. Unescapable, that's the Mythical Kitchen motto. Okay. Look at what I did. I cut something. I don't know if I want, should I smell it before I eat it? No. Yeah, Are you that you confident? Yeah, I'm that confident. We put a lot of aromatics in there. I smell a little bit of brain, just to, just to, I mean, I smell a little brain when well, I look for he, that. There's brain in everything. There's brain in everything. But, but, which is really a statement about the universe, Link. Consciousness permeates the entire universe. I'm not going, I'm not going light with this either. I'm going, I'm going heavy. There's really no difference between me and you and this pizza. This is just the universe having fun with itself. Think of it like that. This is the universe consuming a piece of itself. This is the universe playing with itself, is what you're saying. Yeah, it's a little masturbatory. Uh, you want some like crushed red pepper or something? or? Dink it? I mean, Parmesan would be great, but. We're out. And? We're out. <laughs> Think it. Think it. I can never really taste it. There's like an organ permeating this entire thing. But it also has the experience of a of normal pizza. It's not bad, Josh. Yeah. Open up your mind, man. <laughs> mm. This right here is just a piece of brain. Uh! Fried. Yeah, it's like a brain Parmesan. If I can enjoy this, then you've done something. Oh, is that what that is? See, that was okay. I'm gonna try one of these. Uh -uh. I think the texture might get you. <laughs> Hold on, Link, you can do it. Turn that frown upside down. Smile, you like it. <laughs> Smile with your eyes, too. <laughs> there you come. <laughs> yeah, see, it makes everything better. It's, it's not bad. It's just the universe experiencing itself, man. Oh, don't cut yourself. Don't cut me. Josh, that was actually kind of good. It's the most I can hope for on the fifth round, honestly. I, I mean, mean, yeah, it was. We we did a dual I mean. I mean. I mean I mean I mean I mean I mean, I mean, was, I mean that was pretty good. Yeah, that 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 brain nugget was was edifying. And wow. and, and mainly edible. 
And and it was existential, man. And exciting. Yeah, and so smart. And excellent. Okay, I didn't think this day would come, but brains, will it deep dish pizza? Yes! Congratulations, man. Hold on, was this a freaking queen sweep? No, 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 the Diet Coke. I, I mean, I, I, well, we don't need to go I back to like a place. Diet <laughs> Coke, we don't but, need to go I mean, back to a place of negativity. Here we go. Thanks for subscribing Whoop. and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Dustin from Ontario, Canada. It's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Yeah, that's a professional right there. Toss her. Click the top link to watch us turn Pizza Hut pizza into glorious Pizza Huts in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is going to land. Ketchup is a smoothie. Yeah, I put ice in my cereal, so what? That makes no sense. A hot dog is a sandwich. A hot dog is a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> what?